Forensic Analytics is a forensic software company. We produce software solutions for law enforcement mainly, but also for the private sector as well, that enables investigators and analysts and expert witnesses to very quickly deal with complex digital forensics data and uh, process it and visualise it and map it and turn it into court exhibits. I've been around for nine years, uh, founded by, um, we had three founders and together they created uh, what is now called CSAS, which is used in two-thirds of all police forces in the United Kingdom um, and it's uh, involved in some very high profile investigations most notably and recently in uh, what's called Operation Orochi uh, which is the pursuit of County Lines drug gangs. Forensic Analytics have got two main products, two main software products. We have CSAS which is a desktop product designed to be used by an individual analyst or a police officer or an expert which enables them to really dig down deep into the data associated with a particular case. With CSAS, if you look at a typical case, it's going to have uh, phone records for a, a, a few phones, a few tens of files, maybe 20 or 30,000 records in there. To process that manually, to get to the point where you can do something useful with it, for a, an experienced analyst is maybe a day, maybe a couple of days worth of manual effort. CSAS will do that in three or four seconds. One of our customers in, in the Yorkshire area worked on a, a big conspiracy case a few years ago and there were 30 phones and hundreds of files and lots of suspects. And they initially estimated it would take them six months to manually process the data before they could do any work on it. And CSAS did it in 12 minutes, which then gave them six months back to actually work on the case. We've also got a product called CDAN Nexus. See, then Nexus is a more strategic product and where CSAS allows a user to look at the data associated with one case at a time, CDAN Nexus allows them to look at the data associated with all of their cases at the same time. So they can very quickly see links between different cases, different individuals, different phones and other devices. The areas where it's having the greatest effect, without any shadow of a doubt, it's county lines. In drug, it's in human trafficking, it's in fraud cases. We have to continually update what we're doing. Uh, our customers are inventing and discovering new techniques all the time, new ways of investigating crimes, new ways of using new types of data, and we have to keep up with that. But that's partly because uh, the people being investigated by our customers are continually finding ways to evade the kinds of investigation that, that CSAS is being used for. So yes, it's a constant battle, really. Uh, a war of attrition, even. We came up with a, a detailed plan in December 2020 and appointed advisors to, to, to help us with the investment. And we didn't really in engage with the markets until about April. Um, we had 13 roadshow uh, meetings with, with different investors and 10 offers. Um, of, of finance. We unanimously um, preferred um, Mercia for a whole variety of reasons. So the funding does two things for us. The, the first is enable us to get into the cloud and, and secondly to grow internationally. We took another major decision at the beginning of 2021 was to move everything into the cloud. So we put all of our products into the Amazon AWS cloud. Forensic Analytics started off as a UK company based in the UK, uh, aimed squarely at the needs of UK law enforcement. Partly based on the investment that we've taken, we can now uh, aim our uh, ambitions to a more international market. Uh, we can broaden the range of services we're looking at. Particularly, we can broaden the range of types of data that we can bring into CSAS and see their nexus and analyze, so social media data. We are already dipping our toe into the international market and we've uh, established a bridgehead into the United States. We've got to concentrate on the federal agencies. Um, so we, we've established a, a footprint in, uh, uh, in Washington DC inside the Beltway and we have, uh, we're very carefully targeting particular markets, the, the FBI, the DEA, um, and other three-letter acronym organisations. So what we're doing is we're partnering with um, systems integrators like 
CGI and Deloitte's, um, and they are taking us into their customers. The future is really bright for a business like ours. I think we are becoming noticed. So really the focus for us uh, over the next couple of years will be to deepen our products, be able to bring more data into them and broaden the market that we're selling them to. Our ambitions are um, pretty much unlimited because the growth in digital forensics is exponential.